Um, so for the regatta side of things, um, all of our paperwork, um, all of our committee paperwork, we're going to take care of this month. Uh, just had some coordination with the Coast Guard a couple of days ago. Um, they, they've asked. Uh, typically, we try to get that done before the turn of the year. Um, pretty simple process now. It's all online, so we don't have to do the mail thing all that bit. So that goes fairly quickly. Um, the DNR, same thing, homemade security, all that bit. Um, it's kind of old hat, the same plan that we all put together a couple of years ago is the same plan we'll be using um, and, and, uh, and for this next year's race as well. So, um, so we don't see any problems with that, so these forms, all those things. Um, so uh, I've been talking with uh, Grand Prix. Um, they are not Grand Prix World anymore, they are Grand Prix Americas. And um, so I've had a, a couple discussions with Scotty Pierce on the phone, and, um, and I can't remember the guys, the other guy's name called me and left a message. I've not had a chance to talk to him yet, but they're, they're kind of tag teaming that whole thing. So, so it won't be the same faces, some of the same faces as were here last year, at least leading the organization in the future. Um, but end of the day, um, it, it'll be probably a lot of the same race teams all that so uh, H1 is back. We signed a two-year deal with them last year, so they they were here the 2019 and 2020 season. So we already have that contract in place for them to, to come. So um, so we should be in, in good shape with that, and uh, and we'll start you know that, that discussion phase um, right at the turn of the first of the year. So um, Brent, turn where you at? Okay, can you kind of yeah. run through a little bit of that? Um, so a couple years ago, we tried to do some some one-off shows at the Red Bike downtown. Um, that did not go over well. We actually lost some money on that. It wasn't much, but we lost a little bit. Um, we kind of reworked uh, the deal that we're doing with them. And we're doing a, a series of shows down there that just kind of helps build the Mr. Tail brand. Uh, we had 400 people through the door last weekend. Um, and I talked to a lot of those people. They didn't even know Mr. Tail or God was a thing. So, And these are people that are just from a 50 mile radius. So. Uh, it's helping build our brand getting um, interest in that. Uh, this weekend we've got another one coming, Justin Wells, who played at the festival last year. Um, and I did mention the, the Ward Davis thing for two nights. Uh, we did do a silent auction at that. We raised over $1,200 It's going into our bank account. Um, some guy bought a signed guitar from the from Ward Davis for $700, so that was a big chunk of it. Um, uh, Besides that, there's not a whole lot. We've, we've, we've added about 500 new social media followers on our Facebook and Instagram pages in the last month. Um, so we're getting a lot of the, the word out on that. Um, as far as Rooster Tail goes for 2020, uh, we're still working on it. We got an announced day of 1-1. One, one. Um, besides that, it's awesome to sailing. Anybody any questions for Brent? Well, he's, he's, here, he's the music guy. He, he knows the, the screws. Thanks, Frank. Yep, appreciate that. Um, so it's a pleasure for me tonight to introduce uh, one of our state representatives who's been very instrumental to us uh, in the Motorsports uh, Committee to get some motorsports grant money. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to turn things over to state representative Randy Fry, who is not only an awesome retired firefighter, but he's definitely a friend of Regatta. So welcome. To Thank you, Matt, and uh, it's a great uh, opportunity for me to be here tonight and uh, stand so close to this wonderful trophy, uh, part of Indiana history now, again. Uh, I was uh, there this summer uh, this, for the uh, regatta on, the, uh, on Sunday when the Governor's <coughs> Cup was there with the Governor, and it's uh, quite an honor. Uh, how many years now, Matt? I've been there with several now. Uh, I do serve as the Chairman of the Motorsports Caucus. It's a uh, Voluntary caucus, but uh, we, uh, we uh, our charge is we uh, promote motorsports around the actually around the world. Uh, a year ago, I was in Italy promoting Indiana motorsports, so uh, it's uh, it's quite an honor for me to be here tonight. Uh, and I want to read a little excerpt uh, to you from a resolution that I have done every year now since I've been in the General Assembly and the Chairman of the Motorsports Caucus, honoring Indiana motorsports. Most people don't really realize the impact of motorsports, and obviously, uh, hydroplanes are motorsports. Uh, so I just want to share a little bit of this with you. Motorsports industry has stimulated economic growth in our state using the abundant talent and resources available in Indiana. Motorsports industry annually attracts millions of visitors who bring with them additional dollars that benefit Hoosier communities and the Indiana economy. More than 1,600 motorsports companies are based in Indiana. 
including race teams, manufacturers, and service companies that represent every area of motorsports. Among these companies are some of the nation's top professional racing teams, including Andretti Racing, Schumacher Racing, and Vance and Hyatt's. The motorsports industry has placed Indiana front and center in the racing world based on premier motorsports attractions and events held across Indiana, including NHRA's U.S. Nationals and Madison Regatta, as well as major events hosted at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, including the Indy 500 and the Brickyard 400. A Purdue University study concluded that the motorsports <coughs> industry contributes more than 23,000 Hoosier jobs that pay an average wage of $63,000 a year. The study also found that the motorsports industry is indirectly responsible for 421,000 jobs. If you uh, haven't heard those numbers before, they're pretty astounding. In fact, that the motorsports industry is so important to the state of Indiana. Uh, and so I am very proud to, uh, to travel around the country and around the world promoting motorsports. Uh, and Matt mentioned we were able to, it was a couple of years ago, we got the first grant and we got another one, just got two now. Uh, worked with, uh, with uh, Representative Good, my good friend in the back, and uh, Ways and Means Committee. And we were able to get money put in the budget that uh, funds these grants to promote motorsports. Uh, and it's not just the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It's, it's small racetracks around the state. We know that we have to have a feeder system into the larger, larger circuits. So, um, a tremendous honor for me uh, to be uh, out here promoting motorsports, to be here with you tonight. Uh, and uh, Matt and I and, and several others have had some really good discussions about what can we do to help bring even more uh, success to the Madison Regatta. And I look forward to it. And I think we've got some ideas. And if some of them come together, well, we really have uh, even a better race going forward. So I thank you all for uh, taking time to listen to me. So without further ado, I'm going to rep uh, introduce uh, State Representative uh, Terry Gooden. Uh, he's going to come up talk for a few moments as well. So. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You know you're in a friendly crowd, man, when they clap for you before you stand up. That's awesome. So, uh, hey, uh, as Matt said, I'm State Representative Terry Gooden, and I'm proud to say that I serve Jefferson County in Indiana, Jeremy. I want to make sure we get all the appropriate thank, you, thank yous in here tonight. My good friend Matt, uh, who uh, talked to me, and you guys and gals, uh, you know, I say you guys a lot at the State House, and all us folks in Southern Indiana means we know that you guys mean the guys and the gals, right? But up there, you have to explain that to them. I don't know why. They just don't get it, I guess. But uh, they, uh, you guys, you got a great thing going here. As a matter of fact, uh, the, uh, you know, the Madison Regatta is a huge success because of all the hours that you folks put in on the hard work. And uh, what you don't understand is the thanks and the gratitude that you don't hear. That is the most important thing you've got to remember. I know you put in an unending hours, but the, but the uh, gratitude that you don't hear is what we really appreciate. So I want you guys to give yourselves a great big round of applause. You all <laughs> and not just, uh, not just to uh, say that you, what you do for the Madison Regatta, but what the Regatta does for all of Jefferson County. And not just the city of Madison and the town of Hanover, but all of Jefferson County that makes a big difference. So with that, I'm going to say I'm excited to be here. Just like Randy said, my good friend Randy, it's exciting for me to stand here next to this trophy, and I'm going to touch it, I promise. Anybody <laughs> <laughs> seen that video on YouTube where they, they was touching that glass trophy, and they knocked it off, and they touched it all over the So I promise I won't do that. Please, yes, thank you. All right. But i got to tell you, I've been doing the regatta for a long time. As a matter of fact, my days at the regatta go back to the old days of Miss Madison, the Atlas Van Lines, and Payton Pack. Anybody remember those names? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, now... Uh, a little about myself. Um, we know that the General Assembly is a part-time legislature, and like Randy was a retired firefighter, I'm, I'm actually a school superintendent, and I've been a school superintendent for 21 years over at Crothersville Community Schools, and uh, uh, I uh, say I, I love being a school superintendent. It, it goes very well with being in the legislature and being able to move things forward in the Indiana General Assembly. So I want to say thank you for letting me be your state representative. So, uh, I told you guys I was born in 1966, so you'll understand I'm reaching in my pocket for my glasses, right? <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, we have a very special award tonight. It's an honor for me to be here tonight with Randy to be able to present this. And uh, it's a proclamation honoring Curtis and Krista Chapman. All right, so be it hereby known and proclaimed at the Indiana General Assembly, Curtis and Krista Chatham have put in many hours of sacrifice and dedication to rebrand the Madison Regatta into a sustainable organization, and whereas Curtis Chatham has organized local civic groups as gate workers in order to put money directly back into the community, and whereas Curtis Chatham has made significant logistical changes that have helped create a better experience for customers, and whereas Krista Chatham has contributed to the rebranding effort while also working as a principal and whereas Curtis and Krista Chatham have helped create a solid foundation for the Madison Regatta organization and thus as a member of the 121st Indiana General Assembly I am pleased to recognize along with Representative Fry Curtis and Kristen Chatham for their outstanding work with the Madison Regatta organization. each and every one of you guys. I know sometimes I make meetings difficult for asking questions and wanting to change things, but obviously there was a little bit of meaning behind wanting to ask those questions and wanting to change things. And I appreciate you guys giving some trust in me and follow along. And uh, without Matt's leadership, I don't know that some of it would have been happening anyway. So again, I appreciate Matt and all of you guys. And I may not be here at every meeting with you, but I'll be down there that weekend any way I can help all. Be more than happy to step up and help. So, thanks, Matt. All you guys, I appreciate. It. All right, thank you guys very much. So, uh, next on the list, uh, Mayor Bob Courtney. Bring on Bob up and come say some words. It's an honor to be here tonight. Thank you for the invitation. Who was standing with me on the banks of the Ohio in 1971 when uh, Miss Madison won the Gold Cup? Isn't it awesome? I can tell you, it was a thrill for me then. And it was even bigger thrill this year to be on the banks of Ohio again with so many of you and, and Governor Holcomb and Representative Fry and, and others to watch Miss Madison Home Street win again this year. What a fantastic thing to witness twice in my lifetime. It's awesome. Um, you guys are the torchbearers now of keeping a tradition alive in Madison. It's, that's a valuable tradition. And I'm grateful for all the work that you guys are doing. And I'm even more thrilled to be your partner going forward as the mayor of the city of Madison and partner with Matt and, your, and you all and the team here to make sure that this tradition continues. I had the great pleasure this year of not only working with Matt, but uh, volunteering with Brent. He, he really made me sweat it out at the Rooster Tail Festival this year, but it was awesome. So you're not only doing one thing, you've got two festivals that, that have demonstrated tremendous success both having a, a fantastic economic impact to our community, bringing tourism in. You're constantly having to reinvent yourselves, right, and make sure that this tradition, tradition can continue to thrive. So congratulations for your success. Thank you for all the hard work that you're doing. And I'm, again, I'm grateful and, and very much looking forward to being your partner uh, going forward to make sure that this tradition continues. So congratulations again. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Uh, yes. Uh, so we were invited to, to come over to uh, the Kentucky Motorsports Hall of Fame induction. And uh, so I was able to attend with, the, with this fine guy here, Jake McCormick, uh, who is the grandson of the very first winner of the 1971 Gold Cup. So with that, uh, Jake is here tonight to talk for a few minutes and, and uh, share with his family the experience we had at, at, uh, at the induction. And, and uh, we're, we're glad he could make it. He came all the way from Owensboro. <laughs> Who set up this lineup? But my um, lovely butt had to follow three politicians up here. <laughs> I bombed horribly, horribly at the Hall of Fame thing. The uh, the gentleman that introduced my grandfather and gave a little of the backstory. He was very moving, and I was fighting tears the whole time that I was trying to speak. Forgot everything I wanted to say. It was uh, an awful experience. Matt pat me on the back, and I felt like a child. <laughs> but. Um, I want to thank you all for having me here tonight. It's a great honor to be able to celebrate with you all. Um, if there's, I don't imagine anyone 
doesn't know who my grandfather was, but he um, he did win the 71 Gold Cup here in Madison, in the Miss Madison. And they, uh, they thought about enough about that instance to make a movie about it. And I got to experience that as a young man. Um, I believe in 99 they were here filming that. And that, uh, got to meet movie stars. And then I broke the bicycles up and down uh, the strip with Jake Lloyd, who played my uncle in the movie. Um, I'm with the KDVA now as the dive coordinator for the rescue team. And one of the racers came up to me. I've been doing it about three years. And he said, your last name's McCormick. I said, yeah. He said, are you related to Jim? And we got into it. And he, he asked me about the movie. And he said, so they made a movie about him. I said, well, the movie, it, it kind of centers around my granddad in a way. But to me, it's more about this town and the race team and their plight in trying to keep a race team and host the Gold Cup. And you know, going forward with that, as a kid, I was part of my uncle's race team, and I saw what went into that, you know, monetarily and the long hours and trying to keep that going. And now, as part of the KDBA and putting on that, I see the red tape, the permits, the money that goes forth to that, and the fact that Madison has both. And not only do they have both, but they're successful. It, it is truly a thing of amazement. I don't think enough people appreciate what they have in this town as far as that goes and the volunteers that it takes. It takes a whole village of people to make both those things work, let alone both in the same town. It's truly amazing. And uh, I think you all should be patting yourselves on the back and congratulating yourselves. Um, I look forward, I've been invited to the regatta this year for hosting, you know, the cup for the year. Uh, Matt extended that invitation. I'll be here this year. I look forward to maybe trying to help with the regatta. Um, so congratulations on the big win. Uh, congratulations on moving forward with the regatta, keeping it going. It's a great, great testimony to your all's commitment to motorsports and boat racing. And lastly, you know, I want to thank you all. I had the honor a few week, uh, months ago with Matt accepting an award from my grandfather. And then I had someone reach out on Facebook, and he actually had the 66 rule book for the ABA that was my grandfather's. I mean, he, it was handwritten. He had gold cup tickets inside of it, uh, an EAA sticker, an APBA sticker, and he, he gifted that to me. And, you know, when I took that, I, it's like I felt my grandfather through that, and it, it was truly awe-inspiring. And now, to be able to be here celebrating this with you all, I, I can't imagine a better honor. So thank you all for letting me share this with you all.